Stone your idol or Goliath. The idol is never idle. He is restless and restive. He is always busy seeking whom to devour. He is a strong man, a behemoth and a monster. A Goliath, colossus, abnormally large and powerful, ugly and very scary. Take him out of the way. Stone your idol, Goliath or strong man. 1 Samuel 17, 39 to 40 and Psalm 23, verse 4. Use five well-selected and smooth stones, one from your home and the other four you'll pick from here, Mercy City. Hit it, aim, pelt, strike, and don't miss it. Missing means repeating all over again. Let's do it again. Date, Thursday 7th and Friday 8th June 2018, time 7 a.m. Venue, Mercy City, beside a white house uh, close to the mountains. Goliath is a showstopper. Stop him before he stops you. There will be a wild wind of change. The devil is in double trouble. The last battle, Jeremiah 10, 11 declares, Thus shall you say unto them, The gods that have not been made, the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. KJV. Spit them out, all you have swallowed or stolen, including your glory. Your enemies must be flawed or defeated. There must be total restoration and all-round celebration. Hallelujah. Wow, I am Prophet Jemamu I am here to now inform all the people that who are there. I am here to now inform you people that uh, there is uh, this program that is uh, about to take place. Uh, we must tone our enemies to death. Our enemies must go this time. The Bible says the fifth month, that when God give grace to King David to now put down the enemies. And the enemy was down. His name is called Goliath. Who is that person? What is Goliath? Who is that person that's disturbing you? Who is that person that's blocking you? The Bible says these people, they were trying to now pull down Israel, the Philistine. The Bible says, they now send a young boy. God give grace upon a young boy in order to now overcome the plans of uh, the Philistines. And he stoned king. The king, King David, stoned what is called Goliath. And Goliath died. He fell down. Who are those people that are fighting you in your community? Who are those people that are fighting you in your family? Who are those people that are fighting you in your dreams? Who are those people that are pursuing you? There, this is a time. And the Bible says he pick five stones. One, two, three, four, and five. The Bible says he picked five. Five stones from the book to in order to now pull down, stone down. Goliath. So what are we going to do? This is five. The Bible says in the book of 4, 1 Samuel 17, verse 40, it says that he picked the five stones from the brook and he now carried one. God gave him grace. He was planning to now stone him with all this, the five stones. But God gave him grace. God gave him grace in order to now use only one stone to now stone his enemy and the enemy died. Who are your enemies? You must come with one. You come with one from your home. Then you come. When you come one with home from your home, then you now come and now pick four from here, from this place. The angels here, they are guiding you, are giving you the grace for you to go and now stone this, uh, uh, your enemies. <laughs> But if you are not ready to stone your enemies down, if you are not ready to kill your enemies, please don't come for this program. Because this program is going to now, whosoever that don't want you to succeed, they must go. Whosoever, whether a woman, a boy, or girl, after you stone, they remain six months, you will see what's going to happen. Because this one, anybody that who don't want you to now to succeed, to be at the top, they will go. So... As I carry the five stones, these five stones, you're going to stone one in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Ghost. You're going to stone three to the devil, the idol, the, the, the Goliath that who don't want you to succeed. That's uh, Lucifer that pursuing you in your dreams, your mother worship that don't want you to succeed. It is a time of war. 
This is a time of war and a time of fight. So you must overcome this battle. And God has given grace to, uh, to David, King David, to overcome this grace. You must go with this one. You have to take this one also so that the Bible says, Jesus will be with you. To the, I will be with you to the end of the world. So get ready for this program. It will be explosive. Come and stone your enemy. Come and stone them. You will see what will happen. Some time ago, I done this program in a, a, a mess land. A young boy stoned uh, uh, just the wall. I told them to stone. And they stone. It's a murder, biological murder that will cause problem upon scatter all, damage his business, scatter his business. All his lifestyle was zero. And the mother confessed. After seven days, her leg, her, her hands, and her, her, her eyes were swollen up. And uh, she now said she was the one that, uh, please uh, forgive her. She was the one that responsible all her li his lifestyle. So she was the one that uh, been a Goliath to him. So this stone that you're about to stone, <laughs> anybody that who, that don't want you to succeed is for them. You carry two home. One represents you. One represents God for, in order to guide you. So you will go home with two. You will stone this in. Make sure one stone will come with you from your home. God bless you as you come. I am waiting for you. I'm a prophet, Jeremiah Mother for you. Look at the date on the screen. Those uh, data are rolling on the screen and the numbers, call them so that you get more further information. So your life will never ever remain the same. I am waiting for you right now in Mercy City. What is going to happen this time? <laughs> you will never ever believe it because it's a time of war. You must, your enemies must surrender and they must submit. God bless you as you come. Thank you. Turn your idol or Goliath. The idol is never idle. He is restless and restive. He's always busy seeking whom to devour. He is a strong man, a behemoth and a monster. A Goliath, Colossus, abnormally large and powerful, ugly and very scary. Take him out of the way. Stone your idol, Goliath or strong man. 1 Samuel 17, 39 to 40 and Psalm 23, verse 4. Use five well-selected and smooth stones, one from your home and the other four you'll pick from here, Mercy City. Hit it, aim, pelt, strike and don't miss it. Missing means repeating all over again. Let's do it again. Date, Thursday 7th and Friday 8th June 2018, time 7 a.m. Venue, Mercy City, beside a white house uh, close to the mountains. Goliath is a showstopper. Stop him before he stops you. There will be a wild wind of change. The devil is in double trouble. The last battle, Jeremiah 10, 11 declares, Thus shall you say unto them, The gods that have not been made, the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. KJV. Spit them out, all you have swallowed or stolen, including your glory. Your enemies must be flawed or defeated. There must be total restoration and all-round celebration. Hallelujah. <laughs>
this is, look at these stones, you will go, you will take this thing, you will put it on your neck, like this. Then, you go to, to, to where the angels are praying for the stones. Then you take four, one stone from your home, then you pick four, four stones. Then the four stones, three, you use three when you are coming, then the grace of God, the angels will give you, will give to you. When the angels, when you pick the stones from the, uh, from the angels, then you can stone this, this devil. Then the problems that you have been facing, all of them, they will now go. So, if you go, if you just go and now stone this devil without this, and without the stone from the, uh, the grace, the blessed stones, you can never ever stone the devil. You can never ever defeat him.